Hi everybody, this is the arcade machine I built. I finished it about two days ago, and it took me about four weeks to build it. And uh, I got the joysticks and buttons in, and mouse here, and then uh, this marquee up there that says arcade com, and there's a uh, dial in here to adjust the brightness of it. And then you've got TV controls here, and then uh, the power button for the computer. And then there's an iPad in here which takes the signals from these buttons and converts them into a button press on the keyboard. And then I've also got NES controllers here, which are modified so they connect straight to the iPad. Also connect a uh, weir mode up to it to control it. So pretty cool. And then I've got a speaker here, and I've got volume control here, and a bunch of secondary buttons for like escape and F5. And the whole thing's run by uh, a computer, so it's just an emulator on the computer. That's all. And uh, some of you may have seen a bunch of pictures of me building my arcade machine on the internet. But for those who haven't, here's a bunch of pictures of me building it. And I built the whole thing myself and wired it all up. Okay, here I'll sh now I'll show you uh, playing one of the games. To so go up to the game you want, and then you just press start. Press start and ready. And then you just walk around and play the game and stuff. And And you pause it, and then you can also use the NES controller to control it. Just grab your NES controller, unpause it, and play as if you were uh, using the joystick.
Now, a really cool thing about using the NES controller and the joysticks is uh, you can point one way on the NES controller and uh, use the joystick to go the other way. So you can look one way and walk the other way. Then just press reset and it takes you back to the beginning and you can select another game like a uh, road fight or something. The arcade machine is pretty fun, you can play like all kinds of games and you just download them off the internet and do all kinds of stuff with it. You can also browse the internet and stuff on this. And so. And then just when you want to browse the internet or something and do other stuff, just press this button here, which is escape. And it takes you right back to the... Takes you right back to the desktop. Hi! Now I've got that coin door on my arcade machine. So what you can do is you can either pay or you can press the start button. And I've also got it set up so you either have to pay or you don't have to. So I'll show you what the inside of the coin door looks like. So here are the coin mechanisms. The coin falls in through here and then does some stuff. And then if it goes through here and hits the switch, then it presses the start button. And if these uh, green, these two green wires are connected together, then you're able to press the start button. But if they're not connected together, you can't press the start button. You have to put money in. And I've got, got a box in here so the money just falls in. And I'll close it up and show you how it works. So when you've got it here with the menu screen, just select your game. Press start to set it up, and then you open up the coin door, disconnect these two wires here, so you have to pay, 